The gold foil experiment was an experiment set up to prove the structure of the atom. Often it's called Rutherford's gold foil experiment, although it was Heinz Geiger and Ernest Marsden that actually performed this experiment under the supervision of Rutherford. Rutherford was basically their boss. So it was in 1909 that this team of scientists set to change our perception of the atom. Before we get to Rutherford's experiment, let's just quickly revisit J.J. Thompson's plum pudding model. This was the model at the time of Rutherford's experiment, and it was the accepted model. Now, plum pudding is a British dessert, and I've never had it. I don't know what it looks like. So I'm going to call this the chocolate chip cookie model. And if you can think of a chocolate chip cookie, we have all these chocolate chips. And this is kind of like what the electrons would have looked like in Thompson's model. So we have these electrons that are distributed throughout the rest of the atom. And the rest of the atom, all the cookie stuff here, it would have been kind of a low-density substance that was positively charged. And so Rutherford's intent was to prove that this was correct, or at least verify it was correct. And here's what its experiment looked like. Rutherford had a radioactive element inside of this lead box here, and I've kind of cut out the lead box so we could see inside of it. Now this radioactive particle would have been decaying at a constant rate. We won't get into de radioactive decay in this video, but basically what was happening with this part of, or this substance is that it was emitting alpha particles. And these alpha particles look something like this, and they are basically a helium nucleus. Right? So this would be a helium atom without the electrons. And so these alpha particles would have been positively charged because there's two protons there. And if you can imagine this radioactive element here just kind of emitting alpha particles just kind of in every direction here all over the place just flying off this thing. And what Rutherford and his team of scientists did is they had a little hole here right, for these alpha particles to escape. And these alpha particles are moving at incredible speed so it's almost like a gun. And they'd have these alpha particles escaping and they fired these alpha particles at a sheet of gold foil. And so they'd have this gold foil here right in front uh, of the, uh, the, the gun here, the alpha gun. It's firing at the gold foil, and they had detectors set up all around to see where the particles ended up. And if we look at the model of the atom, and this is, this is what we thought, or this is what they thought the model uh, the atom looked like here, just like Thompson did. And so this is kind of zoomed in on this sheet of gold foil. If we had our gold foil here, and we're just kind of zooming in onto a single atom, they expected that all of the particles pretty well should just pass right through, and they had a detector screen that these particles would show up on. And actually, this detector screen would wrap all the way around the uh, foil here, so it would be kind of a, a circle there going all the way around. And so they expected it all to kind of just hit the other side. It's kind of like firing a cannon at a piece of tissue paper, this kind of idea. So if we had this cannon and these cannonballs that were just being fired at this piece of tissue paper here, you'd probably expect them to just blast right through that tissue paper and go on to the other side. That wasn't the case, though, and what was ending up happening is that most of the alpha particles went right through that gold foil as if it wasn't even there, but some of them would actually deflect they kind of go off to the side. And some of them, this was really puzzling, was that some of them would look like they even bounced off of that gold foil and came backwards. So here's how Rutherford explained this. The atom could not have looked like Thompson's model for the atom. It just couldn't have worked. So what Rutherford thought is maybe we revise that model of the atom to include a very dense center. Right? So we have this very dense center here that was positively charged. And the difference here would be that any time an alpha particle, remember alpha particles are also positively, positively charged, any time they got close to that dense positive center, they deflect. And if it wasn't as close, it might deflect a little bit less. Okay, but if it got close, it would, it would uh, be repelled because positive is going to repel positive. We may also have a situation, and this is the evidence that Rutherford saw, is that sometimes we had something coming almost right back. And so that would have indicated almost a direct hit with the alpha particle to that dense center. Now the rest of the atom here, 
would have been made up of something very, very um, low density. And this is where the electrons would have been, and it could have even been empty space. And so Rutherford even thought that maybe most of the atom is actually empty space, because most of the particles he saw just went right through as if there was nothing there. And so the results here of Rutherford's experiment, here's actually what his experiment would have looked like. I have Thompson's model and Rutherford's model here. This blue circle is the detector screen. So we had to set up all the way around. And in uh, Thompson's model here, what they were hoping to see, or what they expected to see, was all these particles mostly going, or all of them going straight through, really not impeded at all. And what he did see was most of the particles going right through as he expected, but some of the particles deflecting, and some of the particles even coming right back. And again, that's the result of that dense center of the atom. And so he really came up with two big points to explain this new model, and these were his two big points. The atom has a dense, positively charged center, which we know as the nucleus, and the atom is mostly empty space. And that's how Rutherford's gold foil experiment discovered the nucleus.